So the first section of chapter 20 deals with estimating area. And this is very, very subjective, meaning your answers and my answers may not quite match, but so long as we're in the ballpark of each other, we're okay. So I don't actually have notes to fill in for this. I'm just going to go over the uh, practice problems, and we're going to call those the notes. So we're asked to estimate the area of this blob, and they've been nice enough to color in things for us. So they've colored in full squares red, and there are 12 of them. They've colored in pretty full squares blue. There are six of those. They've colored in four orange that are saying they're about half full, and seven green squares, or I should say seven squares that have a little bit of green in them, and they're saying that those are less than half full. So the way the book's going to want you to think about this is 12 red full squares is 12. Four half full squares is two. Let me actually grab my... Not edit. No, wait, yes. Edit. Triple dot. Markup. Give me my pen. Pen. So there are 12 red full squares. So that's 12. Four orange half squares, half of four is two. And then we're going to take these two together and say, okay, if there's six that are almost full and seven that are less than half full, that's probably about six full. The less than half completing the almost fulls. So estimate, okay, 12 and 2 is 14 and 6 is 20. It's about 20 square meters. Will you necessarily agree with what I say? No. Is that okay? Yes. So let me go over here. And I'm going to try to use the same convention that they did. So edit. Give me my pen. So in number two, full squares. Let's see. That's a full square. Oops, I'm trying to use the eraser. That's a full square. That's not a full square. That's 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 a full square. They used blue for almost full squares. So that guy's almost full. This is almost full. This is almost full. This is almost full. They used orange for half full. So I'd say this guy's about half full. This guy's about half full. Ooh, and I missed I missed one that's more than half. He's more than half. And they use green, which might be a little difficult to see. That's, yeah, that's, well, I'll mark them out here. This square's got less than half. This is a 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 less than half. So we have one, two, three, four, five full squares. We have one, two, Half fulls. Half of two is one. And I've got one, two, three, four, five almost full paired with one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. That's excellent. So five almost full plus the six not quites will make five full. And when I add those up, five and one and five is 16. And number three, this is actually easier because we only have full and half fulls. So let's see. Full, 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 full. So that was 12 full squares. And then the rest of these are all halves. So half, 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 
half, half, half, half, half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 halves. 12 halves is 6. 12 and 6 is about 18. And then the super blob. So let's see, you're full, you're full, you're full, you're full. And then on the middle line, we go into the second guy, and then there, 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 there. And on the third line, I would say these two are full. So that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 full squares. Uh, next up would be the mostly full. So there's none on the top line. On the second line that has, I would say this is a mostly full. On the third line, I would say each end is mostly full. And on the fourth line, I would say this guy, this guy, and this guy are mostly full. Half full. Top, no. In the second row, I'd say the first guy's about half full, and so is the guy on the end. And on the last line, I would say this guy and this guy are probably about half. And then the top three blocks are not, are less than half. And I'd say this block right here is less than half. So in terms of the half blocks, because remember we should do those next, I had four half blocks. Four halves is two. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six almost full blocks. We'll combine those with the not half full green blocks to call it six full. 12 and two is 14 and six is 20 for my guesstimate of the area there. So again, am I going to expect that your answers will exactly match mine? No, but if I get an answer to like 18, I do rather expect that you're gonna be telling me like 16, 17, 18, 19, you know, something relatively in the ballpark of my answer. I don't expect a dead match from everybody. I know some of you will match me, but what I do expect is that you are comfortably within the ballpark. If you are more than two away from my answer, I can almost guarantee that I am going to probably be marking your answer wrong though. I think two full units of wiggle room is probably generous enough.